Hey, welcome back, generals. Uh, once again, this is our, our weekly episode of Talking with Generals. You got our co-host today. We got Nick Gary and we got Tyson Dozier. But before we start, we have a very, very special special message we want delivered from our principal, the beloved Mr. Ship. Hey, generals. Hope everybody's doing well. I just want to take just a quick moment. Graduation. So wanted to just get this information to you as quickly as we could, and I'll try to be as quick as I can. Uh, but it's been going on for probably about the past couple of years as we've been looking at the stadium and modernization and construction, and we knew that there was going to be a time of where are we going to graduate at, when will it be, what are our options. So I'll say this a couple times, but save the date. We are now confirmed. It's locked in. So Wednesday, June 9th, 7.30, our normal time. And this year, for the class of 21, we will be at the Frontier High School football stadium, so the Titan Stadium. Uh, we will graduate that night at that time. They graduate the night before, and then we come in the next day. Um, I did want to say just quickly, uh, we've been working on this for a while, and we tried to check every venue that we could from the Mechanics Bank to the Civic Center to CSUB to Bakersfield College, the Ocardo Center, the Amphitheater, the different stadiums. Um, unfortunately, Many of them were limited on the facilities they could rent and their availability, and they're kind of under the same restrictions that we are right now, too. So that kind of made it a little bit more complex. And so we kind of waited, waited, waited. We just had to finally call it. And so we are set. Um, so Wednesday, June 9th, 7.30, we'll be at the Frontier Stadium. Um, if anything changes, we don't know yet where we will be at that point with um, the pandemic or COVID and how large or how small it will be and anything else that changes. But as we know more, you'll know what we know, you know, when we know it. So, but I wanted to get that to you as quick as we could. So with that, take care, generals. I miss you. Yeah. See you soon. Well, there you have it. Big announcement everyone's been talking about or been wondering uh, with the stadium being demolished, we're going to watch a piece on the stadium here in a minute. Uh, what are we going to do for graduation? So, Tyson, Nick, what are your thoughts? And I think since uh, Nick is our senior, what do, you, what, what do you got there with that news that we're going to be graduating um, that Wednesday at Frontier Titan Stadium? Well, we're getting closer and closer to graduation, so I think um, decisions need to start being made. But I, as a senior, I also understand, like, things aren't, normal and it's like very unprecedented so i understand i'm just very grateful that they gave us um they let us know ahead of time and they gave us time to just kind of prepare for it and think about what we're going to do yeah i know this is probably a shock to you because uh we we kind of held it from you we wanted to see your reactions of it all um that was just recorded i believe this morning uh tyson mm -hmm. what's what's your take as a junior it's a little different for you because you know you're gonna you should have if everything goes relatively close, or even if it's a little off schedule, you'll still be able to graduate in the new state. You'll be the first class of that. What is, do you have any feelings towards uh, the seniors, your friends, uh, not graduating here? Um, I feel a little. Um, I, feel, I mean, I'm I'm glad that they made the decision and they're they're letting them know ahead of time so they can mentally prepare themselves to graduate off the shock stadium. Um, but I think it's it's exciting because. Um, I mean, it's just a step to uh, the, the next level of whatever they're going to do, go to college, uh, go to the military, find a job. It's just a, it's the, your, um, your entry into adulthood. So I believe it's a, it's a little ex it's exciting, but uh, uh, it's a little sad that they're not going to be able to graduate on the shop on the shop field. Yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of a bittersweet moment. And especially for someone like you, though, it, the progress is at some point, someone's going to have to not get everything. and. To do that, we've got to go ahead and demolish the football field so then next year we can act a new stadium and play games and support. Hopefully for decades in the future, the one class of sacrifice will be you guys and everyone will know it. Uh, but definitely a bittersweet moment. I totally feel the pain of Nick's face. And uh, Tyson's the lucky one here because he will hopefully have a brand new cool stadium and he will have that for next year. Um, speaking of the stadium, we have a special piece we're going to show you uh, that Coach Perucci, I know, has put together for us all. So let's see what that looks like right now in the stadium. 
If you have driven past the stadium on Shafter High School's campus, you may have noticed a little difference. The once stoic place of battle and fellowship now looks like this. Yes, the stadium rebuild that has been promised has now begun. Principal Russ Shipley fills us in on the important information. Total timeline under contract is 305 days. So from the time that they first begin the project, 305 days from that point out is the expected, projected. So if we do the math, that puts us to around November-ish, maybe late October, November. They could potentially finish early. and We might potentially be able to get into some of our fall season or not. There's a lot of what ifs that um, I think if any of us have ever worked around our house and then done any trenching or digging or anything, um, I you know if we think of this campus as you know well over 90 years old now, so there, I'm sure there's you know quite a bit of stuff that's buried out there of you know plumbing and pipes and electric that have been put in over the last nine decades. Um, case in point, uh, we already hit one yesterday and they hit another one this morning. So um, and it's going to continue to happen. So. Um, but yeah, it's about 305 days, so hopefully about November, and that's from start to finish, from full demo to uh, the whole project. As we say goodbye to 66 years of victories, defeats, graduations, and fireworks shows, we now look forward to what is to come and making memories at our new home. Hey, that looks pretty awesome. I, I, I know it's kind of hard probably for some to see that we are... Uh, losing the stadium, but just the hope and the ideas of the future look pretty good. I can say I've had probably zero influence over Mr. Chipley other than I noticed the background he had a Sonic T. Uh, so I appreciate that. He's supporting our local Sonic out there. Um, I know we discussed it briefly for a minute last time, Nick. What what do you guys think when you see that the stadium being demolished, I mean, and the hopes of the future, how, how cool do you think that's going to be for next year and the years of the future that they get to play with an all-weather track at a new modern stadium uh, than what we've been dealing with for the last, you know, 60 plus years. Uh, for me, again, just mixed emotions. It's really sad to see something go. And I think it goes for anything in life. It's really hard to see things that you have history with and good memories would go. But it's also going to be nice. Like for me, you get to see the, the next generations of generals play. So I get to come back and see Tyson or my brother play on that field. And although it's not the same field, it, it's still the home of the Generals. It's just, it, it's just going to be really nice to see like an upgraded field. Tyson, I know this has to be exciting for you because you should, in theory, be the first team, hopefully, hopefully gets to play some sports on that field or that stadium. Um, but what's your thoughts on that? Um, like Nick said, um, and like I said last, or yeah, last week, uh, it's a lot of mixed emotions, but uh, uh, it's exciting. Because uh, especially for for the track team, because I know for sure we're going to be able to do track on there, um, be able to use that all-weather track for the first time. Uh, it's just exciting to know that uh, that uh, you're going to be able to be the first people to to touch a, a new step in the future, you know. Um, but also, it's it's mixed emotions because all the history and all the all the games that I've played on it, all the games that Nick Nick has played on it, it's just. Uh, it's sad to see history go, but um, in comes the new, you know. There's always going to be, anytime there's change, it's always a little rough. But uh, in this case, I think, it may, as rough as it may be, clearly the future, it's going to be worth it for what we're going to have. Um, so transitioning as we're talking about sports, and I know you guys both play football, and as you know, you mentioned track, I think track probably the biggest uh, recipient next year of that stadium because they'll be able, they should be able to use the full season, possibly even post events. We've never been able, I haven't been able to do in a long time, I should say. Um, okay, going on football, I know we discussed it briefly. I want to know what is your final prediction and the score of the game for the Super Bowl this Sunday? What do you got, Nick? I've got Bucks beating Chiefs 36 24. Bucks 36 24. We're going to rem remind us, write that down, Nick, because we're going to talk about it afterwards. See how close you are. Red Rifle, what do you got? Um, I got the Bucks beating the Chiefs. I'm gonna say 28-21. So it'll be pretty close, I think. Bucks beating the Chiefs 28-21. And Nick, what was yours? 36-24. 36-24. And you have the Bucks. 
I am going to take the Chiefs just because I want to be opposite of you guys, and I do think the Chiefs are the younger, better team. Um, and I don't care for Tom Brady. I'll say that. I stand by it. Um, I will take the Chiefs. I think they're going to win. I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair. I'm going to say 41-36 Chiefs. 41-36 Chiefs. Let's go ahead. Coach Perucci, uh, what does Coach Perucci have for his prediction? He's going to get over. Hang on. Uh, going with uh, go. Yes. Different order. Hey, wait. It's going to be a lot of work going with Buck. So, Buck 36 to. Okay, there you have it. We got three Bucks, we got one Chiefs. Well, one of us is probably right. Just say that. There's only one. I believe that guy who went with the Chiefs. Uh, personal feelings. Okay. End of the show as usual. This weekend, we know it's Super Bowl Sunday. Tyson, what are you doing this week? It's a three-day weekend, too, because we get Monday off. What are you doing this weekend, Tyson? Um, Saturday, I'm going to pre be preparing the house for Super Bowl Sunday. And then Sunday, watching the game. And then I Monday, probably taking a nap all day from all the food we ate from the day before and uh probably just getting some relaxing time before before school again that sounds like an awesome plan nick what do you got buddy homework hanging out with the boys on super bowl sunday yes sir there you go i know personally for me it's going to be a quiet super bowl this year unlike we've done in the years past uh but it'll be a fun time and probably one day i'll break my diet so i look forward to that i'll be honest with you Okay, we'll be back next week. We're going to see who's right. There's four of us. Remember, the Wiz gave us his prediction last week, too. So we may bring him back in the future to discuss if he's right or wrong. Uh, but we appreciate all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next week.